In this demo, I'm going to give you an overview of how FSOF Transact can be leveraged to process incoming healthcare related documents. Now, we'll go ahead and kick off the demo. I'm going to upload a, uh, a file for processing. And this is a, a PDF that it has seven distinct documents embedded within. And this could simulate uh, inbound fax traffic, a stack of papers that are scanned, and a couple things. Uh, we can upload documents into FSOFT Transact. We have a scanner interface. We can monitor hot folders, so you can scan from your copiers, email attachments. We have a mobile client. So there's a number of ways to bring in all different types of documents from distinct sources within your organization. So we'll let this finish. You'll see it's uploading, and this is actually hosted within our cloud. And you can see the, uh, the document is uh, totally uploaded. And we have the ability to have a number of capture workflows. So in this example, I'm going to pick my medical records demo, and we're going to go ahead and start that batch. So let's do this. I'm going to actually show you what that file looks like that we were uploading. And this is a typical file that might come in via fax. It might be on someone's desk that they want to get into the system. And these are a bunch of different patient records. Everything from a patient release, discharge documents, transfusion documents, and the list goes on and on. Now, see these are varying in quality, and there's actually a medical record number and a date of birth that exists on each of these distinct documents. So let's go back to the application. And we finished our upload, so now we'll go into our batch management interface. And think of this as kind of a command dashboard for all the different document processes that you have going on within your organization. You can check statuses. You can see that uh, the particular batch that I uploaded is running. And we've got a number of other sets of documents that are ready for, for review or validation. So let's go ahead and open this one. And this is the FSOFT review interface. So the first step when we upload a set of documents, FSOFT is going to take that. It's going to attempt to classify, so identify the document type, and then split into individual documents. So this is what that four, or, uh, seven page PDF that I uploaded into the system looks like once it's done with the initial process. So you can see we split it into an admission order, a transfusion record, on and on down the line. Now within this interface on the left hand side, you'll see the documents and how they're split. You'll see a representation of a thumbnail view and you can have single or multi-page documents. And then you can see the overall view of the document. On the left hand side, this is color coded. So green is good, red needs attention. So in this example, the first and last documents were very low quality. They were maybe a copy of a copy of a fax that was sent in to uh, uh, a hospital. So FSOFT uh, correctly identified these. You can see that this was identified correctly as an admission order, but it's very low quality. So it's raising its hand and say, hey, just check to make sure that this truly is an admission order. If it wasn't, I have the ability to pick from another document type come in and learn the file so next time it'll understand what that file is and that uses our machine learning and AI algorithms okay so in this example this is an admission order so I'm going to review it and you see once I'm done and I approve that it goes on to the next document in question once again poor quality document you can barely read the fonts but it's still classified it correctly using our algorithms so I'm going to click review again and once I'm done and I've reviewed that classification and separation within the FSOFT interface, I'll click OK. And it goes on to the next uh, batch within the system. So in this example, this was a set of contracts that we had queued up. Okay. Well, I'm going to flip back. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, and refresh this. And I can see now that that same batch is ready for validation. So whereas the review screen was the screen where we could review separation and classification, this particular screen is used 
to uh, to review data extraction capabilities. All right. Now, one thing I like to mention: if there's no issues and FSOft has confidence in both the classification, the separation, and the data extraction, it won't stop. It'll go from start to finish in an automated fashion. That's not the real world out there. We've got poor quality documents that need to be reviewed and uh, the data needs to be uh, uh, correct. So in this example, you can see that uh, we've got the same type of setup. On the left-hand side, we've got our, our documents. The middle pane is a little different. Now we've got the data. And then once again, we have a, a document view on the right-hand side. So in this example, once again, our admission order, which was a low quality document, um, has some fields in question. So in this example, you can see it automatically extracted the medical record number, but the document was uh, very low confidence. So it wants us to check that information. So we'll click validate and it couldn't quite grab the date of birth. So I've got a number of options. In this case, I can go ahead and hand key it. This is 2000, uh, 2003. Actually, it's 06. So I'll go ahead and fix that. And then once I've entered that data, you can see the red goes away. We'll click validate and it zips right to the next document in question. So this document, you can see it's extracting the DOB and the med record, but uh, somebody forgot to type in the, uh, the year of the date of birth. This is a validation rule that's uh, put into the product that uh, says, you know, a year has to, has, has to have a month, day, and year. So we'll go ahead and enter this information, validate it. Once again, it zips right to the next document uh, in question. So you can see it's really quick to go through and fix any data errors or issues. You can validate everything. You can have uh, validation rules to make sure data is entered correctly. And once again, once you're all done and you click validate, it'll go through and get released into the back end system, medical records system, uh, your EHR, depending on what type of uh, uh, system you're on ramping documents into. So this is a quick and simple overview of one use case of the product. If you have questions or you want to see a little bit deeper demo, give us a shout at fsoft.com. Thanks. Thank you.